Hello, hello. All right, so this is one of my, I'm gonna get someone dizzy spinning around like this. This is one of my last days in the crash pad before I leave this weekend. And I thought, you know what? This might be something people wanna see. So I'm just gonna dive right into it. First of all, let me tell you what is a crash pad. For those of you who don't know, a crash pad is basically an apartment or a house where a bunch of flight attendants stay before and after their trips if they can't take a commuting flight home. So a lot of flight attendants don't live in the base, in the city where they're based. They could live, like we've got girls in this crash pad who live on the West Coast and we're in Boston. So it really just helps to have somewhere to crash for a pretty cheap rate monthly um, when you can't catch that commuting flight back home to wherever you live. Now there are some cases where some people are here full-ish time which was kind of my case the past three months. That's very uncommon, that's not normal. It's usually people in and out. Sometimes they're co-ed, sometimes they're all one gender or the other. Sometimes they have pilots, sometimes it's only pilot pilots, sometimes it's only flight attendants. This one is all girls, all, uh, no, there's two pilots and the rest are flight attendants. Um, but the two pilots are female pilots. There's a good vibe going here. There's really cool girls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. All right, this is walking into the front door. Now, I turned on all the lights just because, so you guys can see everything. Um, but basically, this is the living room. All of the furniture is from Restoration Hardware. Very, you know, state of the art. Um, good quality, will last a very long time. Just kidding, okay. Clearly this is old furniture, but whatever. It gets the job done. TV, there's cable, Netflix, all that jazz. Just a nice big dining room, little place to hang stuff if you need it to dry, air dry. Um, bunch of lunch bags on the ground. Way too many freaking grocery store bags. Okay, two fridges. Just because in this crash pad in particular, there are 16 girls or 16 beds anyway. But yeah, you need two fridges to fit everyone's food before and after trips. Uh, trash can, a uh, bunch of cabinet space, you know, just, just like a normal fully equipped kitchen because it's a normal crash pad but or a normal apartment. But it's easy to do meal prep in here. I mean, we have everything. There's cups, plates, a bunch of blender bottles, cookware. And now taking you into one of the rooms, four bunk beds. Yes, bunk beds are very common. This one thankfully has a washer and dryer. That's a big game changer. Little storage room, hallway, first bathroom. Hello. Just a normal shower. Pretty clean. This one's nice. This is a clean crash pad. Not all crash pads are like this. Some are worse and I guess some are nicer. Um, but yeah, bathroom number two. Pretty decent. Hello. Third bedroom, more bunk beds. And this is like a back closet room. This door is so creepy. It closes on its own all the time. Anyway, back closet room. There's like different shelves for different girls and their items, places to hang your stuff. That's like a back door. Um, ironing boards, place to throw your suitcases. And then back here is where I sleep. I sleep on this bed right here, only for what, three, four more nights now. And yeah, it's very dark. We've got little blankets to cover up the windows just because so many girls end up coming in after red eyes. But this is pretty nice. No one is here right now. Usually not the case. There's usually at least like two people here, like me and someone else or like, Last month, a bunch of girls were on reserve and there were on average like six or seven girls here at a time. That was rough. I was only supposed to be here two months before I moved into my apartment since all my stuff is in a storage unit right now. And that didn't happen. So I ended up staying one more month and I was like, all right, this 
is tough. This is pushing it. It wasn't horrible because I wasn't like living here every single day, day in and day out. The girls who are on reserve are here more than I am. I, you know, I get to leave and go on my trips and all that, but it's still, it's, it's hard. Cause you know, it's like sleeping on a bunk bed, but I'm grateful that I had the situation. I didn't have to jump on something last minute. I was able to comfortably stay here before I found a place. Here's my little cabinet. VP and it's a freaking mess. I have like so much junk up here. Like it's a mess. It's an avalanche waiting to happen. The thing that I am the most excited about moving into my new apartment is my kitchen. My beautiful new kitchen with the white cabinets that don't slam. Anyway, so that's basically it. Like this is my stuff. It's bright here, it's close to the airport. So yeah, it's just a quick, cute little video. I don't really know what else there is. If you have any questions, you can just ask me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer. But yeah, it's pretty basic. It's um, nothing crazy, nothing to write home about, not necessarily glamorous. All the girls here get along. There have even been a couple nights where like a group of us will stay up drinking, having fun, playing games. It's honestly like, even though it's been claustrophobic and kind of hard to live here, it's been really fun. And I've met some incredible girls just from being here, girls that I know I'm gonna stay friends with. And it's one of those things I like panicked about so much, like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to like go to a crash pad until I find a place and it's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna be miserable. I'm not gonna have any space to myself, but it hasn't been bad at all. Actually, it's been really nice. I couldn't have asked for a nicer crash pad and I could not have asked for cooler girls in my crash pad. So I'm super grateful about that. Anyway, my next video, I will be living in my new place and I am so, so, so excited about that. My name is Vera. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day and I will see you next week.